Hello, my name is Elise Alter, and I'm the ODMAP Program Manager for the Washington Baltimore HIDA. Today, we're going to take a look at our Level 2 platform, which primarily serves as a national map. For the purposes of today's training, we are going to be using our training environment for Level 2, so this does not display any actual data. It is all data based from our training environment. When you first log into Level 2, you'll be prompted with what's new. This will include any updates for Level 2 since the most recent release. You're welcome to scroll through them and read more about them. If you're up to date on them, you can just click Proceed. When you log into the Level 2 dashboard, all data that is displayed will be what is logged within the last 24 hours. Within the Level 2, you have the ability to filter further based off of your needs. Right here on the right-hand side is going to be filters, and you can create a variety of tasks within this section. For example, if you wanted to take a look at all of the suspected overdoses that have been logged in the nation since the development of ODMAP, you have the ability to do so by clicking on the filters. This will then begin to load all suspected overdoses for the nation. You'll see on the left-hand side here for total count, as well as corresponding fatal naloxone administration in a bar chart and pie chart will continue to correspond as you drill down further. Dependent on the amount of data that you are attempting to load, it may take some time. You will see a variety of diamonds and circles located on the map. Over here in the left side, you have a legend. Diamonds refer to fatal overdoses and circles to non-fatal, and the colors are the corresponding naloxone administration. We have the ability to filter further by state. We can enter in a state that we desire. And as the data loads, you have the ability to scroll in further and or zoom. You can do this with the wheel of your mouse. You can also do this by clicking on the plus and or minus signs. And you will see that the data will begin to load. If you want to continue to drill down, you can use your shift and then use your mouse to zoom into a certain area. You then have the ability to select a county within. It's important to note that if a city is located within a county, that you will only have the ability to select the county as a whole. You have the ability to look between a certain date range. You have the ability to also look at incidents within the past days, hours, weeks, months, or years. And then you just click outside the box and the data will repopulate. You also see that as we continue to filter down, the information down here below continues to change. You have the ability to click on any location within the national map. And upon clicking on it, this is what anybody would see. They would be able to see that it was a non-fatal single dose of naloxone, the date of the incident, where it occurred, and who entered it. You also have the ability to see when they entered it. So you can see this one was entered approximately six minutes after the suspected overdose. And then you also have the ability to see things such as a case number if it was entered. Just an important reminder that we are in the training environment, so this data is not actual data. You will see that you have a restricted zoom and just are able to see an approximate location of where the suspected overdose occurred. As a reminder, when we clicked on the location, you're not able to see any identifying information in regards to the suspected overdose. We have no information about the victim, and we also have very limited information as far as the location. As you'll see, there is no address in here, and there are no coordinates in here. It's just an approximate location. You'll see down here below that when you filter, you're able to see a corresponding bar graph. This is also easier to see when we look at more data so for example, when we sorted it to the last 20 days, we're able to see 
corresponding information. When you hover over, you're, you're able to see the actual number of suspected overdoses. Again, this would be more comprehensive information when you have a real data set that you are working with. Um, again, ours is from the training environment. You also have the ability to click this arrow right here to open an attribute table. And this may be helpful to some of our folks that are in um, intelligence or doing some analytical. You're able just to see some further information. You also have the ability to do some additional functions within the Level 2 map. For example, if you wanted to uh, perhaps highlight a certain area on the map that was of interest to um, a presentation that you were doing, you can do so within Level 2. You can click on the Draw button, and then you can click on a corresponding shape or, and or color, and you can highlight that. You also have the ability to do things such as add text. And whatever you place here into this map has the ability to be printed. So you just click the print button. And then you have the ability to print, and again, anything that you place on this map, such as text and or um, symbols, will be displayed when you print it. You also have the ability to change your base map. So if you find um, that, that a different type of base map is more appropriate for um, the goal that you're trying to accomplish, you have that ability as well. And you can continue to explore these once you gain access to level two. It's also important to mention that level two, level one, and ODMAP in general is only available to government entities serving the interest of public health and public safety. If you have any other questions, you may also check out some of our online training that we have by going to our website and clicking on ODMAP. You're able to click on our training material where we have additional information for all of our platforms. Thank you for your time.